everybody, and welcome to the Satellite of Love. Say, did you know that Mike spent a two-week stint as a teppanyaki chef at a place called Suki Yummy? <laughs> Neither did I. Till he went completely mental, now he's slicing everything on the ship! What, what, what's that, Mike? Oh, you want to slice another onion? Sure, I know how happy that makes you. Uh, can I just get a piece of that shrimp before you turn it into shrimp pudding? Whoa! Watch stop it. cutting already, Mike! I'm woozy from hunger! You know, Mike's dangerous enough just wielding that big chunky body of his around. But give him a knife and it's good night, Irene. What now? Oh, you want to slice the pepper? Yeah, sure. The pepper. Yeah, the pieces have been coming out kind of big. Go to town. <laughs> There's about a one in four chance we're going to come out of this alive. All right, that's it. I want a piece of steak. Ow! Oh, gee, oh, thanks. Now he's trying to slice it. That's nice. Yeah, he's trying to slice my hand up. Good. Now that's fine, Mike. You cut my hand up and serve it to me. Good. The thing is, I'm so hungry. It looks good to me. I know. My own hand looks delicious. Me too. You see what you've done to me, Mike? You see what you've you done? You better not go see ahead. any more go, of this. Go I'll be right back. Try my head. Not Just the head, driving. bro. Not the head. No. no. Go ahead. Um, 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 um. Now, now there's just not much meat on your claw, Crow. Well, there's no meat, Mike. I'm made of molybdenum. C oh. Can I have my hand back, please? Yeah, sure. The hell? Huh? What? It sounds like a World War II era field phone. Yeah. 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 What? Look at this. Ah. Well, I'll be. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> Look at that there, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's ringing. It sure yeah. is. Yeah, it's ringing all right. What do you know? Hmm. Well, I'll get it. Okay. okay. Hello? Mike! Oh. We're under attack! An army of renegade warlike robots has us pinned down. We're almost out of ammo, and I don't think we can survive another charge! Oh. And? And I am going to box your ears if you don't help us get off this planet! Well, lawgiver, the war's over for me. I've got trench mouth. How could you? We just got started five minutes ago and you already have trench mouth? Well, I have sensitive gum. Did you see it? Oh, 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 great. Just oh. what I need. Oh, medic! Medic! Here oh. I am. Uh, brain guy, what the hell is your deal? My race is pacifist and does not believe in war. We only kill out of personal spite. We will, however, provide humanitarian aid. What's that smell? Oh, mustard gas! Mustard gas! Oh. Oh, no, 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 that's just me. I, uh, I ate a whole jar of Plaquemines with my Kanish for lunch. Oh, <laughs> good God, Ace. That's it, we're pulling out. Uh, hand grenade! Grenade! Oh, I'll save your what are you doing? Oh, 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 brain guy, quit farting around and get in the van. Okay, Nelson, we need air support. We need it fast. It's a good thing I don't have a body. <laughs> sure, no problem. I used to make these babies in uh, junior high school out of vinegar and baking soda. Is that too much baking soda, Mike? Or... In high school, now they think of it. In college, too. Got, got expelled for that. <laughs> Definitely too much baking yeah, soda, Mike. A little too and much. for that temp job I worked on, too. Until that one guy in receiving got me fired. <laughs> Mike, Mike, yeah. uh, honey, the baking soda is just going yeah, to just a little uh, prank, Jeez, but he had to rat out on me, didn't he? Like... Oh, well, I guess okay. some people are just so, like that. Bombs away, Mike. Mike. Okay, Mike. Oh, right. Bombs away. Okay, bombs away. Bombs away. Hey, I heard you can make a bazooka out of PVC tubing and a used diaper. No, okay. Oh, wow. ah, well, okay. There you go, okay. Mrs. Forrester. A little distraction for you. A little distraction. Okay. A few things, Mike. First, uh, well, you blew up another planet, obviously. Yep. What's that, three for you now? I think so. Uh, second, uh, are you out of your stupid run and go, you dumb man? You... Now what? Huh? Hello? Oh, 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 I can't stand it. Oh, it's killing me. Oh, 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 oh. Have you been hit? Oh, oh, Bobo, speak oh, to us, Bobo. Come on, Nelson, look what you've done. This poor noble ape is gonna croak, and it's all your fault. I'm sending you the worst movie I know. It's called Riding with Death, and it sucks on toes. Hang on, Bobo, hang on. Oh, darling, what happened? I am so... Hungry! I haven't eaten since lunch. Anybody got a condition? Hungry? Why, you stupid monkey! You smelly, stupid simian! What'd you do with that planet, you silly, stupid old man? Remember. Someone's I... going to jail, and it's not gonna be me! Don't remember, we got movies! Oh, we got movies, guys! Da 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 da. 
<laughs> Good. Thank you. Universal, except for you, Ron. <laughs> You know, the Earth thinks it's so great. Oh, yeah, it thinks the whole world revolves around itself. Cool. Hey, the Matthew Broderick story. And believe me, death does not pony up for gas. <laughs> There's such a thing as starring Ben Murphy. Isn't it more honest just to say that most of the time the camera's pointed at Ben Murphy? Uh huh. Starring rejects from Harry O. Richard the Dice Hearted. <laughs> William Sylvester's theme, a music of hope for the world. <laughs> Smog's pretty heavy over L.A. this afternoon. Oh, if Clue Gulliger isn't in this, it'll be very wrong. Anthony Zerby, come on, please, 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 please. <sighs> or Evan Smith, your choice. <laughs> ah, that's who's playing John Hiller this time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, duh. Dawn slams up. Hey, you think this guy likes spiders and snakes? And step ball, kick, change, go! Data Corp, providing personnel decisions and management consulting for exploiting your core competencies with an eye toward productivity and connectivity. <laughs> oh, Stephen Bochco, does this mean we have to see Dennis Franz's hairy butt cheeks? No. Oh. <laughs> I hope not. Ah, yes, that gooey L.A. sky. Birds? Not nah, all dead. <gasps> Intersect, making lines meet for over 50 years. This computer has over 500 bytes of RAM. The long and winding road that leads to your... World's most difficult math test. Damn, we've got dots again. So everybody at NORAD called in sick today except this guy, huh? It's one of them early tanning booths. Top secrets, so don't look at it too long. Rick Brown Fox jumped over the lazy dog. Hi, I'm Ben Murphy. Federal agent Sam Casey. Your table is ready. Born April 16th, 1958. New York City, New York. Received Juris Doctor degree, Harvard Law School, 1983. Under Operation Admit the Dumb. Hi, Ben Murphy again. Special Federal Agent Sam Casey was assigned to Operation Royce Explorer to retrieve an unidentified satellite from the ocean floor. Backstory database. During the course of the salvage operation, the submerged satellite exploded. The radiation from the blast left Casey alive but invisible. Do you buy that? The Intersect Radiation Lab fitted him with a DNA stabilizer. From Daymark. This enables Casey to both become invisible okay. and to materialize. Hmm. Still with me? The complete details are top secret. Hmm. File hmm. number 487-384. Send a self-addressed stamp envelope to Ben Murphy Information, Pueblo, Colorado. Start seeing Ben Murphy's. Sorry, squirrel. Yeah, I got the whole Ben Murphy thing going on, so I got that going for me. Gavin McLeod Mania. Not Gavin McLeod, but an incredible simulation. <laughs> swing by and pick up my vacation pictures. Not exactly riding with death yet, is he? No, just riding with slight abrasions at the moment. Ah, it's a synchronized car exiting competition. Took my employee of the month parking spot, you bastard! Frankly, miss, I'm surprised you didn't notice I was Ben Murphy. Well, the Papa Burger with cheese and fries. <laughs> we'll take your medication, Grandpa. Damn corporate rough housing. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Fonda is Richard Petty in the Marcel Marceau story. <laughs> Oh, oh. An elderly security guy, run! Maytag repairman in hot pursuit. Oh, killers, they're fun. <laughs> Give me my comic books! Hey, hold it, hold it, relax. I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> Name's Casey. Oh. Intersect. Uh, I'm not cool, so I'll have to shake oh, yes, regular. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm, I'm Dr. Arthur Hale of Intersex Technological Division. Nice to meet you. Okay. I'm also a freelance Murray Slaughter. I meet Mr. Driscoll 15 minutes ago. <laughs> it's all right, so was I. <laughs> Listen, you got any idea who those turkeys were? Were they butterballs? Well, let's just say that Mr. Driscoll will get into that after the briefing. We'll have a turkey update. Housed in a beautiful redress parking ramp. <laughs> Hey, let's go to the turkey database. www.gobble.com Building the perfect party tape. With the increasing erratic behavior in the nuclear energy arena, it is becoming more evident that new sources for energy must be found to fill our various needs. Hence these random shots. Our standard fuel energy sources are expensive and dangerous. And ooky and scary. Playing too important a role in world politics. Constantly causing friction throughout the hemisphere. It really steams my beans. It is our hope that once again necessity will be the mother of. Hit a image. unicyclist. Now uh, uh, uh. well, these morale-boosting movie breaks just aren't helping. Hey, Baldy, down in front, huh? Tripoli. Doctor Hale's new fuel additives, so called because it triples vehicular mileage. What a turkey. Hey, my favorite number. Woo! 70? Yeah, I love 70. 70 miles to one gallon? On one gallon of the mixture, yes. Oh, Cars no. with special carburetors did even better. Well, it gets really dirty now. I'll have to shut it off. Mmm, turkey soup. Well, congratulations, Dr. Hale. This certainly will reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Yeah, but then uh, one man's meat's another man's poison. Turkey meat, that is. Meaning that certain foreign oil interests won't be overjoyed. True enough. It obviously cost them billions. You saw what happened in the parking lot. Yeah, the turkey's right. How did they find out? The security leak, unhappily. Not at Intersect. No, no, no. Damn dirty glasses. In Washington, I'm afraid. You see, last week I contacted federal authorities and told them we planned to deliver two gallons of technology <laughs> into the Federal Energy Commission's branch office in Long Beach. It would be tested and certified. He's still cleaning his glasses. My purpose was to request an army convoy. Within a matter of hours, Mr. Driscoll had a call from the still head of the dirty. oil combine. They wanted to buy all the rights to Tripolidine. <laughs> to suppress it, of course. <laughs> of course. That's why I urged Mr. Driscoll to get the additive to the Federal Energy Commission as quickly as possible. Meaning tomorrow. This army delivery will begin at precisely 0500 hours when an army convoy will depart the laboratory. But... I have to clean my glasses first. You are the security breach and just between the four of us... My glasses are filthy. That convoy will be a decoy and will not be carrying the Tripolidine. Still dirty. All right, so who will? Some turkeys? You will, Sam. It's your present assignment. I'm here. Sam, in precisely 600 hours, this rig will arrive at Dr. Hale's laboratory. You will be at the wheel. I can't drive a stick. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. I need you to help me move my couch before we get on with the operation. Uh, you first. We want to see your visible panty lines. They totally cleaned out the bookmobile. Dr. Hale has devised this chamber, constructed a bullet-resisting armor plate. That's right. Well, you could fit a whole lot of turkeys in this place. <laughs> now, Dr. Hale, we're right in here. With a two-gallon bottle of Tripolidine. Some pretzels. Special equipment used in the refining process and all his secret formulas. Okay, I think I get it. If we run into any trouble, then Dr. Hale can hold out in here until help arrives. Is that the idea? I'm all right. right. Now, Sam. Don't wear that shirt. The Federal Energy Agency closes tomorrow at 1,800 hours. Budget cuts, you know. Your mission is to protect Dr. Hale and get this rig to Long Beach on time. So they have 13 hours to drive from Torrance to Long Beach? Yes. <laughs> President Ford declares martial law because of the streaking crisis. And Comanches line the hills. This is overview. Army convoy has picked up material at secret bases ordered. Now approaching checkpoint Charlie. Roger, Colonel. I'll be cleaning my glasses. Poached? No, scramble. Yes. Sam, are you in position yet? This is Sam. I am. <laughs> Affirmative, Big Daddy. I just arrived at the lab. Good. Proceed with operation. Out. He calls me Sister Woman. I call him Big Daddy. Be very quiet. I'm hunting to a power dean. <laughs> Rip. Well, what do you think, Doctor? You about ready to move out? Well, just about. A couple of more items. Uh, we were supposed to leave at 8. It's about 11 now. Whatever. <laughs> We've disguised the bottle of Tripolidine as junior samples. 
this matter. It's an oversight. I just realized that a piece of equipment I have stored in the warehouse in Dawson is absolutely indispensable. My toupee. Well, no problem. We can stop on the way and pick it up. We'll be behind schedule. Yeah, not if we leave now. Well, fine. I'm ready. All righty. Oh, and I gotta hit a cash machine, if that's okay. <laughs> I'll do a little pinch hit, pop in some deep purple, and then get this secret government project on the road. Rip. Turkey's ho! Bum, bum, bum. Remember, for all your top secret government project needs, trust Central Moving and Storage. Oh, uh, hey, it fell over and exploded already. What should I do? 99 bottles of Tripolidine on the wall. 99 bottles of Tripolidine. Uh, 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 I can't get it out of second. Oh, well, we got 13 hours to get there. <laughs> And Mickey Mantle's new liver is transported across the country. Indian boy. She's pregnant? Abby, where are you? The army convoy has left. The mm -hmm. operation's underway. I know that. What? Well, Sam is supposed to meet me there. We'll go. You still got five minutes. Righto. Whoa, the acid kicked in. Well, I can't sing, but I don't care. As long oh my as my God, CB no. radio's here, I'm on there. I'm on there? I'm on there. I'm on there. I ain't got no record, ain't got no band, but I got me a song about a truck driving man, and I'm on there. I said, I'm on there. It's really beautiful, man. I'm on there. I said, I'm on there. Well, get off the air, you cracker. Yeah, hey, encore, encore. Well, oh. thank you there, music lover. It's Lazy Rider here. Don't Buffalo run. Bill, howdy. Oh, Buffalo, Don't. where you rolling? Stop uh, cutting. Four passing pail. Yeah, oh, what do you know? I'm around your back door, buddy. Yeah. Good, you can keep the black barts off my mud flaps. Yeah. 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 Dan Murphy, how may I direct your call? Are we on schedule? Uh, we're 10 minutes ahead, Doctor. Fine, thank you. I'm going to start to work on the patent application. <laughs> so hold on my calls, Debbie. Okie dokie. I'll just pop in some Jeff Foxworthy books on tape. Shoot, the secret government project ditched me. Ah, prelude to the afternoon of a turkey. My bell bottoms feel great today. Her code name? Muskrat Susie. <laughs> Ding dong! Trick or treat for pantsuits. Brought my modified Dorothy Hamill cut. Gasoline. That's the common fuel I was trying to think of. <laughs> I'll be your candle on a pile of papers. I wish I could marry to my new boyfriend, Sam Casey. To whom it may concern, I'm breaking up with you and burning down the warehouse. What would Tony Tennille do? Amount embezzled, 10.7 million. 10 million dollars? Somebody paid too much for their muffler. Ah, oh, the grappa! Though it's Giorgio, I'm gonna stink for three years. Mrs. Columbo's niece's friend. <laughs> Operation Camel Toe. Ooh. Hey, Lou Grant's office is now a permanent diorama. You know, I could steal a stapler and no one would know. <laughs> it's Alan Smithy's number. Probably the illegal embezzlement information hotline. <laughs> To order Toblerone, press one. Hmm. Hmm. Now I wonder who's flying to Switzerland. Hmm. And with ten million dollars. Maybe it's Heidi. Hmm. She has exploding boogers! Thank goodness for my Kevlar underalls. Man, I really cut one. The king approaches! I'm so upset. I'm going to go right out and eat a whole bunch of rice cakes. I'm going to call Pam Dauber. He 
is calling Kleenex consumer complaints. Uh, yes, ma'am. One kind has lotion in it, the other has nitroglycerin. Yes. Mr. Driscoll's office. This is Abby. Get me Mr. Driscoll. Come on, lunch. Come on. Yes? Is Lawrence on six? Ah, crap. Well. <laughs> Abby? Leonard, listen to me. No. This whole thing is a fraud. Abby! Rubber. Sam is in terrible trouble. Tripolidine is chemically unstable. Hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye. Say hello. Grace, I've been cut off. Its molecular structure breaks down, and it transforms itself into an explosive more violent than nitroglycerin. I don't know how long it takes, but just a couple of drops on a tissue nearly blew this whole room apart. Well, knocked over a chair. A jar in that truck that Sam is driving, and he's going to be blown to smithereens. Oh, yeah, and someone's going to Switzerland. Leonard. Leonard, are you there? I doubt it very much. Robert Reed and Tom T. Hall! <laughs> it's so funny when a girl tries to do something. <laughs> no way, my girl. No way. Just curds. <laughs> Put her in the copter. A song about the 70s, huh? Groovy! Yeah, it's always been my favorite decade. Cool. Rock it, you turkey. All right! right. Yeah! Ow! Ow, ow, boogie, ow! Back in the funky 70s, the party did never stop. Ow! The city of Pompeii was doing all right, but Vesuvius blew her top. Ow, ow! In the super bad 70s, the Roman Empire still reigned supreme. Emperor Titus uh, came to power uh, and he finished up the Colosseum. Uh, uh, servo. Back in uh, the Funkadelic 70s, Egyptian Week with. Who turned off my wall sound? That no, was me, actually. I think we had a little miscommunication. Here. Yeah. Well, you said you wanted to hear my song about the 70s, Well, right? we thought you meant the 1970s. You know, the decade of today's movie? <laughs> That's absurd. I distinctly heard the 70s, period. Yeah, but, you know, usually when people say the 70s, they don't mean 70 A.D. to what? 79 A.D. They yeah. mean the 1970s. The 1970s. Well, how can people just assume that? I mean, why don't they just get off their lazy butts yeah. and say 1970s? I mean, I don't know Shinola about the stupid 1970s. It's just a kind of shorthand. I can't explain it. Why don't you just play one of your other songs? Yeah. Okay? Oh, Calm down. all right. Calm down. Here's a little song I penned about the 50s. Ah. Do you remember the 50s when Emperor Claudius died? The yeah. Apostle Paul traveled to Greece. Uh, Servo. Oh, no, not again. Yep. Yeah, I mean, what is wrong so. with people? How can they be so sloppy? I mean, why don't we just throw off the damn stupid calendar if nobody's going to use it? I mean, We'll geez, be right back. Bunch of I ninnies and thieves, morons, morons, all of you. Talk. Man. Huh? Oh, his essential equipment comes in a whole lot of laundry bags, huh? And Richard Carpenter sketches a truck. Now we just need to swing by suds o In there. Yeah, so in the truck then, thanks. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> hey, you want a sign for this stuff? Lucky guy, he's about to find out I'm Ben Murphy. Keep on trucking. Peace, Ben Murphy. So your company's called Evil Co., eh? Fred Willard, Longshore. Dr. Hale says to tell you this bag isn't even his. Let me see that. Yep, not even his, says it right here. It's not even from his locker. Put it back. Let me change that invoice, will you? A lot of bag switching going on. Well, you guys probably got it under control. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, thank you. Right. Fade away jerk handshake. <laughs> that was a great handshake, man. Pretty mellow top secret operation. Nobody's getting uptight, everything's cool. No baggage or hang ups. I'm just gonna hang in there, baby. You bet your sweet bippy. I'll do my thing, they'll do theirs. Just gotta keep mellow. That's what being Ben Murphy's all about. And I'm Ben Murphy. Thank you. I'm Ben Murphy. Bye, sack of ham. ham I mean, Sam. <laughs> I sure hope he remembers to pick up death. Oh, I sure hope it never stops being the 70s. We'll all be in trouble. <laughs> Sue Ann put me in this mare. 
Nice, delicate improvisation, Stark. Miss Nosey, I mean. <laughs> yeah, kind of guarantees her total disappearance. Uh-huh. Along with mine, allegedly. <laughs> Charver's out back. Good, let's get going. Yeah, I know the plan. Hey, go get me a mood ring. It's stop and go slow and go over the top secret government project today. Sorry I made you throw up back there. Yep, being Ben Murphy has its advantages, like being Ben Murphy. <laughs> How you riding back there, Doctor? No, I'm not in the helicopter. Oh, fine, Sam, just fine. Uh, but I'm working on my uh, patent papers, and I really would appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. <laughs> you didn't give yourself much leeway. Plenty. In every experiment I conducted, it took nearly three hours for the molecular structure to break down. Stupid molecular structure. I wonder how Intersex <laughs> going to feel when they learn that Dr. Hale, together with all the secrets for Tripoli, have been blown sky high by the agents of the International Oil Cartel. Uh, probably not that good. <laughs> hey, slug bug. Ow! Mike. How long now? The first good bump in the road. Oh, Rhoda and Joe, I sure hope they get married. <laughs> Smurf urine. Maybe. Christo started out with small projects like this. Oh, she's emerging out of her pupil stage. Front of the truck. Lazy rider to Big Daddy. Now cut that out, Sam. It hurts me. Come on, you, Big Daddy. You just blown my cover. Sam, you know very well we're on the scrambler. Now, did Abby make contact for synchronization exercise? Make contact where? At the lab. <laughs> Dang. You know, but then uh, we left a little ahead of schedule. <laughs> hey, she's pecking at it with her egg tooth. But she reaches you, have her contact me, too. 10 4. Man, he's so tight and unmellow. Look at that old bag. Yeah, she's half in the bag at this point. Okay, that's that's funny. The first test of the female condom. Please, I have to make a deposit or my rent check will bounce. Someone's deck. Now, the 70s didn't deal well with stuff that wasn't mellow. My acetone-free Q-Tex. Hold me closer, tiny death. Riding with death through San Bernardino. Azusa, Simi Valley. Are you a little chilly, death? Yes, you are. Yes, you're chilly. It's whistling Milton Babbitt. <laughs> there you go, honey. Just try to go. Ben Murphy's going pretty good. Yep. You made the pants too long. I think he's whistling the Hello Larry theme song. We're about halfway there, Dr. Hale. Well, that's fine, Sam. Fine. <laughs> but I am trying to concentrate right. on these patent papers. I'm sorry. Pants. <laughs> <laughs> You should just ask yourself, what would Pepper do at this point? <laughs> and he runs head on into BJ and the bear. I wonder what kept Abby. She's some gal. <laughs> According to Driscoll, I owe my life to her after the satellite explosion. Okay. Hey, now everyone mellow out. I'm invisible, but I'm still Ben Murphy. Duh. Uh, I don't see anything. It's just a candy shell. It's empty. Oh, he bit me! No. No, I, I, I feel his skin. I feel his forehead. I, I feel his face. His oily T-zone. Something's there. It's him. He's here. He's alive. And invisible. And mellow. He's going to die if we don't get him on life support. His pulse is erratic. Very erratic, yeah. Wait, look. Ben Murphy is assumed into heaven. Yeah, it sure did spread outward from my body. I enjoy Abby's flashbacks. <laughs> I'm some gal. Okay, well, I could put corn husk dolls, Amish quilts, it could be totally country. Now maybe her bloke home could help her. 
Ah, this is where those intersect home ec classes really pay off. Oh, she's making bandages for the boys in the Crimean War. Whoa, hey, it's cool. Almost hit you when I swear, but it's mellow. Ooh, TJ Swan's kicking in. Now that I think about it, I must have been in some sort of coma. I was in a coma. That's probably why I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> so no air holes in the mask? <laughs> Got long arms. I was as frightened as Abby and Leonard. Abby! I need more pudding! Some sort of hang-up. <laughs> when they entered the room, all I could say was, what the hell happened to me? And then I said, hey, it's cool, but rap with me. Yeah, that sure was all I could say. It was just, what the hell happened to me? <laughs> yep. It's May Harsh's buzz. Mm. <laughs> but death, I gotta pull over up here. Possible bring down. Bastards, they're hijacking Farrah Fawcett Major's posters. Put your hands inside, Buster. Hey, anything you say, pal. Just turn invisible and run! What the? Hmm? What's wrong? He's gone! Must be a hidey hole in there somewhere! Makes me want to throw myself on the ground. The Indian in the cupboard comes to the rescue. Oh, okay, now the gun remains perfectly still and he hits him with a six foot arm. Uh -huh. I'm on your ass. I'm on your ass. Time to mellow these turkeys out. These guys are from the Spiders and Snakes Anti Defamation League. Mellow? Out! Black Marsh. Lazy Rider. Buffalo Bill. Good to meet you. Nice to see you. You're a regular one-man army, ain't you? Yeah, a little fancy footwork, that's all. <laughs> Why don't you uh, take care of these and I'll uh, call the county mounty. Okay. Okay, boys. Smokey's gonna put you in the pokey. Let's go. Uh, Get up. Then you're gonna sing croaky and skokey. Let's you. join your friends. Let's go. Wouldn't look good bald. What? Well, huh? so why did she put death in a Johnny jump up? Listen, I gotta get moving. I got a schedule to keep. Can you uh, handle it from here? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks, buddy. And the shipment of pet rocks is saved. <laughs> I owe you one. Sorry, let a big one here. <laughs> What's this? And the precious cargo of Billy Beer continues on its way. Okay, check this out, Mike. Trucking. Huh? What do you think, huh? <laughs> oh, slug bug. Ah, Mike, that's a Carmen gear. Come oh, on. Sorry. Yeah, sure, it's a secret government project, but he's still going to stop for some flapjacks. Poor guys who own this gas station just rebuilt after Jonathan Winter's rampage. Special cameo by Chuck Connors. Howdy. Cover up. Just ignore us. We're not following you. Boy, that looks like the guy I have in the back of my truck. Oh, well. <laughs> I'd better check my Audubon guide. That is one of them airborne turkeys. It's one of those UN black helicopters, only painted white and orange. That's exactly what they would do. Yeah. Casey to intersect. Mr. Driscoll, Sam Casey on three. But I'm eating my pencil. Yes, Sam. Leonard, I got a chopper. It seems to be hanging around. Registration number 20 Delta Bravo. Check it out with the FAA for me, will you? 20 Delta Bravo will do. Have you heard from Abby? Negative. I'll get you later, Leonard. I have hired the most incompetent agent ever. <laughs> so, what's Pete Duell really like? <laughs> yeah, they hijacked me again. Oh, whatever, I don't get the 70s. <laughs> Deliver this shipment of whip inflation now buttons. <laughs> All right, sure hope I don't get Legionnaire's disease. Stop disturbing me. Yo. Hey, 
studying our schedule, I see that we should have cleared Cedarville by 2.30. Looks like we're running half an hour late. I'd like you to step on it. Oh, sure. And go bumpity bump. Oh. Say no, Sam. Roger. Mike, I think I need a handle. Call me the Delta Lady. Uh, no. Lazy Rider here. I'm clearing Cedarville and heading west. Have I got a front door? Sure have, good buddy. Little old Buffalo Bill. Hey, Buffalo. I got a problem. I got to burn some rubber, buddy, and I can't abide any smokies. Well, the road's clean, but uh, looks like a bear in the air back your way. Winged bears? Oh, my God, it's the end time. Yeah, I got my sights on him, Bill, but that's no smoky. Your handle could be Walter. <laughs> hey, it's Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at my shocks, will you? Sure. They're riding unmellow. Ah, this could be my swine flu results. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. Casey. Sam, the chopper belongs to Aircraft Leasing Incorporated in Hayden. It was rented out last night to a man named Luther Stark. Luther Stark. Of the Stark Nakeds? Uh, could that be a phony name, huh? No, 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 no. no, no, no. He had to show his pilot's license. No, 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 no. Anyway, we're running a top priority check with the FBI, CIA, Interpol. Hold it, hold it, hold it, Sam. Got to tell it, Sam. Apparently, my glasses are dirty. <laughs> well, so obviously, the eccentric Dr. Hale didn't fully trust our security measures. and was laid on a little extra protection of his own. Any hey, letter? Wait a minute, I don't get the connection. There's teletypes from the Canadian Royal Mounted Police in Toronto. It says, no! Seems a few years back, Dr. Hale was doing some kind of research at Brownell University. There was an arsonist-type fire in his lab, and the man who pulled Hale out was Luther Stark. Obviously, Hale has his old friend flying surveillance in that chopper. Surveillance? Don't use vocabulary words. That's not his bag. He's a scientist. Bag. Something's fishy. It's not his bag. Yeah, I know, I know. Be careful, Sam. Right. I may have to investigate the professor's bag. Okay. <laughs> uh, good. Yeah, I thought they were all right. Listen, what do I owe you? Catch you next time. Thank you. Hey, have a nice day. All right, you too. <laughs> ah, sucker, I won't be back. Day three of his 40-mile trip. Well, his plan of being careful is derailed already. <laughs> they don't call me Carl for nothing. <laughs> Sam, how do you spell patent? <laughs> how does cutting the brake line help my shocks? Well, I'm not the mechanic. Arsonist type fire. Arsonist type fire. Go. Bump, Dr. Hale. I hit a hole in the road. Well, he's mellow but cunning. What bump? I hope it didn't jar you too badly. Well, well, it almost knocked my glasses off. <laughs> but that isn't important. We have to make up that lost time. Roger. Oh, man. You know, a steep grade for him would be like a C+. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good one, Mike. All trucks without brakes, please turn around here. Stuff that's not exciting at all. Just trucking like it's been for the past hour. Du, 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 du. Well, my brakes are out. Abby some gap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, groovy pancuff. Damn you, Carl. Yeah. He could die and miss the bicentennial. Seven pieces. Seven pieces. This is Lazy Rider. Clear the path. I'm a runaway. I repeat, I'm a runaway. What's the problem, Lazy Rider? Buffalo, I got no brakes, buddy. Where are you? I'm Where are you? I'm flying. I mean, man, I am coming down on a wing and a prayer. Okay, I got your front door. Now listen close, old buddy. I'm listening. If you can make that straight away down, great, then maybe I can help you, except you're going to have one tiny little problem. Yeah, how tiny? Those last hairpin curves right before the straightaway? I just went through them. Ain't nobody ever made it doing over 30. What's your speed? 170. Is that a problem? 40 and climbing. Well, gosh, old buddy. All I can say is I hope we meet again someday on that big highway in the sky. Boy, you sure know how to cheer a guy up. Oh, if only he had the Flintstone braking system. Extreme mellowness advised. <laughs> Gotta be at my Ben Murphyist. 
Miami Green Springs. Maybe they should have double bagged the Tripolitan. My patent papers are at a slight angle, Sam. What's going on? Uh, this is the drum solo of movie scenes. <laughs> Sure, just take your half out of the middle. Buffalo? Yeah, Lazy Rider. I'm on the straightaway, buddy. Walk and quit my side, over. Well, hallelujah and praise the Lord. The real tough problem is just beginning, Lazy Rider. Your speed's gonna build up, and that's about the time you're gonna be coming up on all Buffalo's hindquarters. Ooh, if geez. I pull you through this, how about getting out of this racket with me? <laughs> and do what? Race cars in Ontario. This is my last run in this rig. Sam this life will be my last run, too, if you don't stop the stop. gap. You just told me minutes ago we were buddies. Now you're not interested in my future plans? Okay, I got you in the rear view. I want your speed. 60 miles an hour. Oh, man, I hope the jolt's easy. Whoa, hell, you don't hear the air, Burger. What are you saying? 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 Ambot, pop in that eight track. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ah. Well, hey, Mike, <laughs> I'm a trucker. <laughs> Aww, what happened to your body? Well, I got me a trucker body. Found a foam latex truck driver body maker in the yellow pages. Mm, you smell like coffee and cigarettes and diesel fuel. Well, thank you, Mike. I'm the lone eagle of the interstate system. As symbolized by your paunch. Yes, sir. I'm a cowboy of the highway, Mike. Uh -huh. Well, I think you're hideous because, you know, your legs are like pipe cleaners. Well, not everybody understands the lure of the road, the open arms of the trunk highway, the gentle embrace of County Road D, the sweet lowing of the turnpike, the urgent bidding of the freeway. You have no butt. Well, now hold on there, Mike. That's no way to talk to my new butt. No, no, I think you're hideous. You're, you're buttless and skinny. No, I... Ah, oh, you're I, just I jealous, Nelson. I have a fine butt. You wish you had my butt. I like my butt. <laughs> I like your butt. <laughs> Don't you pay any mind to him. You're a terrific butt. You and me, butt, will be just fine. Whoa, movie sign. Better mosey along. <laughs> Coming up on your mud flaps. People have such cute names for sex. <laughs> My well-oiled chassis is coming up on your backside now. My rigid grill structure is bearing down on your unprotected cargo door. My off-complimented Peterbilt is rhythmically nudging that sweet honey pot oh, of yours. Bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Hell, now it's just plain fun. <laughs> Breastfeeding it. Damn, damn. I, I mean, everything all right, Sam. I won't wire. That dude's got to have horseshoes in both pockets. Great and satisfied. I'm tracing lazy circles on your super cab now. You said I was bad. <laughs> inspired me. So I sing you to sleep after the trucking with a song. <laughs> now they have to get married. Almost wasn't mellow there. I don't think she looked that bad, bald. Sam, why have we stopped? <laughs> As if you didn't know. Look, I'm uh, sorry about that ride, Mr. Hale. Looks like the uh, air brakes went out on me. Don't worry about a thing I can fix. Just have to uh, get out the old toolbox. Uh, yeah, all right, well, that's, uh, yeah, that's fine, Sam. Uh, Sam, don't come back here. I'm uh, doing naked burpees. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> well, I guess you won't be needing me anymore. I got to get rolling. Bill, uh, thanks for saving my neck, buddy. <laughs> well, like I said, I owed you one. Well, we're even now. Yep. Yeah. Ow, this is hot. Hey, Bill, you take it easy, huh? You too, Lazy Rider. He's dressed like a counter worker at Roy Rogers. <laughs> if you get up around Ontario, look me up. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> I like him in spite of the fact that he's not me. 
Get the car off me, Earl. Oh, God. This blue flame. Speaking of blue flame, I sure hope Craig Breedlove's record holds up. <laughs> 70? Yeah, that's... Yeah. He's going to emblazon Ben Murphy is cool. Sam, my patent papers are wondering why we stopped. What's taking him so long in there? Did he fall in? What the Sam scratch is he up to? What an idiot. Sam, my patent papers are flammable. <laughs> so he took shop at Harvard Law School. <laughs> All right, I'm coming in, and I'm Ben Murphy. Stand clear. Oh, Sam. You made the pants too long. <laughs> now hold it, Sam. Hold it, hold it. Watch it, now watch it, watch it, watch it. This is unbelievable. Tripolidines, an explosive. <laughs> hey, 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 what, how many hands would I have? And Abby, and Abby was locked yeah, up yeah, by yeah, Dr. Yeah, Hale. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. All right, Sam, all right, all right. <laughs> but under no circumstances touch that tripolidine or move that truck as abby says one slightest jar to my blow it all to pieces believe me leonard i wouldn't move this rig another foot for all the rice in china all right look i'll talk at you later man i could just hear the filth on his glasses okay abby look i'm gonna go out there and try and stall him and please stay out of trouble i'll be right then I think he's on to us. He is Ben Murphy. Well, I'd be a fool if he wasn't after that ploy with the brakes. We gotta know. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sam? Uh, yes, magic truck cab? Yo. Where are we? Cobbs Junction, uh, just over the city line. Well, then, uh, drive to the Valco station. It'll speed up the repair job. Drive without brakes? Well, it's uh, only a block or two. Uh, you can gear down. Uh, no, 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 it's too dangerous. Uh, besides, I'll have these brakes fixed in a minute. He knows. <laughs> Get me in a position for a shot at the gas tank. The whole town will go up. So the whole town will go up. Along with Casey, the girl, and allegedly yours truly. $10 million, Luther. 10 mil. 10 mil. Yeah. All right, but I can't get too close or we'll go up with it. Riding with death. We'll be right back. And we're back. <laughs> Charlton Heston wants my parking place. Abby, jump. Abby. Central moving and storage. Mention riding with death and get three free packing blankets. <laughs> Sam, stop! Abby, what are you doing? Get out of here! Hail shooting at the gas tank. If I don't get this rig out of town, there's gonna be no town. Go on, Abby, get off there! Get off! But will you call me? Can we still go do that thing? I need PSSSST. Let's see what time. Oh! He's stuck down. Or bailed out the other door. No, no, I would have seen him. Central moving and storage now has free estimates and invisible drivers on call. <laughs> Sam, I'm blown to several thousand bits, but I've got to finish these patent papers. So, I don't think it really would have taken out the whole town. No, it might have singed the side of a bed and breakfast. <laughs> Which is good. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's a quarter to... Don't oh, keep doing that! Well, I don't think you look like Gavin McLeod. Thank you, and I don't think you look like Michael Cyrus. He could not have survived. Well, I want to make absolutely sure. I want to look around a he little. hiding somewhere. <laughs> No way. He was blown to bits. Woohoo, I'm so happy. He's got the wristwatch of power. No. This can't be. You're dead? No, I'm not. I'd like to see a ghost fun. <laughs> Hold it, Casey. Wait a minute, Doctor. That's not going to work. For your plan to succeed, I had to die in that explosion, right? Now, how are you going to explain a bullet? Huh? I don't care anymore. Destroyed all my plans. Somehow you've countered my every move. Well, let me see you counter this. It can't be. You're invisible. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Are you through? Huh? Oh, Murray. Dear, sweet, homicidal Murray. 
I'm sorry, Doctor. Bad guys finish last. You have the right to remain mellow. If we rap with you, you have the right to an attorney present. Sir, is this the boy who broke your aerial? Doctor, whatever made you think you could get away with this insane scheme? I would have. Except for him. Listen, Driscoll, whatever happens to me, there's, there's something you should know. The man's inhuman. Unnatural. I'm Ben Murphy. He, he vanished. Disappeared right before my very eyes into thin air. You're imagining things, mm -mm. Doctor. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hallucination of a guilty mind. No, 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 no. In the thin air, I tell you. The only thing that vanished was the ten million dollars we spent on this fraud. This comb over is making a run for it. <laughs> Not funny. What am I going to tell the Bureau of the Budget? Well, that's no problem, Leonard. There's a bank down the street. So what? So, uh, the chief needs 10 mil, we'll get him 10 mil, right, sweetheart? Oh, sure, Sam. That cracker box is a pushover. Uh, okay, who wants their butt kicked first? Now, wait a minute, you two. Be back with the loot in five minutes, Leonard. Sam. Don't touch there. Sam, don't. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam, come back here. You're as elusive as Robert Denby. <laughs> Sam, see? Denby. See? <laughs> Sam! If you don't show yourself, I'll put you back on the Denby case. Oh, no. I need a month's vacation. <laughs> nice ADR. You got it. Thanks. Sorry I said you were as elusive as Robert Denby. Wow! Red! Red like the demon that drives your dream! I seek Robert Denby. I need to know why I was considered as elusive as him. He had to wear his sister's pants today. From then on, Tripolitine was transported in super safe hot rods. I don't know whose tire is whose. Come on, you know, we should have labeled these. Oh, jeez. Casey at intersect. Robert Vesco. Go ahead, Sam. Leonard, I hear you've grown quite a mustache while I was on vacation. <laughs> Never mind that. Where are you? I'm at the racetrack. Hello, Bron. Have you found Robert Denby yet? I just got here, Leonard. But when you locate him, report back. Roger. Out. So you're at it again, Leonard. And you are... All the years I've known you, I've never seen you act like this. Haven't you persecuted that poor guy enough? Oh, poor guy, my eye, Elliot. Ooh. Denby's been involved in every major act of defense sabotage in the last five years. You haven't a shred of evidence. No, but he was lurking somewhere around the scene every time. Well, guilt by association, huh? That part. I mean, you've spied on him, you've bugged him, you've illegally searched his premises, finally drove him into court. You are so almost fired. How'd you know that? You think it's a secret? Even my lab assistants know it. They laughed their heads off when that judge granted him a restraining order forbidding you to harass him further. And if you ignore it, you might find yourself in contempt. You like Robert Denby? So who's harassing him? I'm sitting here. Yeah, Casey's doing your dirty work. If Judge Witherspoon found out... He won't. Judge Witherspoon. Does Casey know you've got a restraining order? Who are you? Just leave! Well, I... I haven't got around to telling him yet. Sam Casey's been away. We got this headshot of Denby at a theater where he was seeing a very depressing show. That order applies to everyone at Intersect, including Casey. I mean, he could end up in jail. I hate being badgered by pharmacists. Hey, it's Andy Kaufman. Thank you very much. You are so sweet. There's our patsy now. Millie! Yes, Vanilli. Uh, yes, sir. Come <laughs> on, Millie. John, I want you to meet Buffalo Billy Joe Higgins, one of my very best men. Bill, this is John Hiller. John's the vice president of Baxter Electronics. Oh, well, howdy, sir. <laughs> oh, Sorry, that's one clean hand. <laughs> nice oh, to meet yeah. you. Please, Phil Hankering is drive the special? Oh, uh, yeah, I sure am. You know, Billy here won the Peachtree 50 lapper. Uh, it's just a little dirt tracker back in uh, North Carolina, but I won it four years running. I'm, uh... <laughs> Very impressed. You're a hick, aren't you? No, you know, Cole Harmon's liable to get sick one of these days. I'm thinking about appointing a relief driver. Would you consider the job? Yes, I would. Yes, sir. All right. 
It's yours. Well, this is a chance I've been waiting for, Mr. Demby. I don't know how to thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Nonsense. You've earned it. Imitation Brady Dad. Yeah, get back to work, eh? Yes, sir. Nice uh, to meet you. He's from Barcelona. Sure is a yokel. <laughs> yep, married to a sheep. I'll pick you up in the van at dawn tomorrow. I have to get back to my industries. The rare male camel toe. <laughs> Those are nice polyester knit jeans. You are so stupid. Huh? Lazy rider? Lazy Buffalo! rider! Oh, this is really good to see you. Oh, I can't believe it. What are you doing here? What are you doing in that outfit? Well, I'm doing here. I'm working here. I'm in the racing business. Some kind of love face or something? Oh, shut oh, up. Everybody oh, shut up. My best buddy. This is Lazy Rider. Hi. Hi. Name's really Tina. Glad to meet you, Tina. Sam Casey. Oh, Hi. Tina? Just calls me Cupcake because I'm the Baxter Cup promotion girl. You know, uh -huh. handing out yeah. samples and How making nice. business uh, environment. I don't care. Do you know some Cupcake? When I was back driving the truck, this old boy saved my life. Hey, come on, come on. All right, tell Tina what you did for me later, then. Oh, that wasn't nothing. What nothing? Tina, if it weren't for old Bill here, I'd still be lying at the bottom of Hill 10 with 30 tons of truck wrapped around my neck. Well, so how are things going? Ah, uh, I did good, Bill. I lost my rig to the mortgage people. Or was it the village people? I really need a job, buddy. I thought I'd hit Demby for one of the crew of the Baxter Seven. Special. Oh, hey, that's easy as pie. I happen to be Mr. Demby's main man. That's right. Mr. Demby always says that he's the best tire changer he ever had. <laughs> now, I now happen to be relief driver. Now, what you think of that? Oh, Vavala, I'm so proud of you. Vavala, Vavala. We gotta get old lazy rider here out of the unemployment. I'm gonna get some pork gravy and buy some things and all the things that are really cutsy. You recommend him, Bill? That's good enough for me. Well, I sure would like to have him on the backup crew when I get behind the wheel of that uh -huh. special, sir. Sam's a real auto-fixing man. Well, I tell you what I really had in mind, something like a gas man on the pit crew, okay? Anything's all right with me. I can fart up a storm. <laughs> no. Okay. We're a team. How about that, huh? Of course it is but uh, you can work your way up like I do. Hey, problem. <laughs> get the job? Yeah. Sure, you hey, got the right. job. Okay. And the celebration's on me. It's amateur night down at the pit stop saloon, and we three are going to be there. <laughs> huh? I'm gonna transmit the crap out of this. Our next contestant is Buffalo Bill. Actually, he's more like Calamity Jane. Where is she? What's happening? What's going on here? This goes out to my friends in the Posse Comitatis. Well, it's hardly worth it, but boo! Thank you. So, Cupcake, is that Italian or, uh... Well, he's an amateur, I'll give him that. I'll get that bird for you. America for Americans. Let's send all the Indians back to Africa. Now cut it out, brother cousin. Now that ain't Sir, I'll have you know chitterlings kept my family alive during the war. For life, Lachayam! Am I actually in this? Hey, college boy. Mike, Mike, did the ozone layer finally give out? What's going on? <laughs> That's right, Chiefy. I'm paralyzed. Is this on every station? The amateur night is ruined. Be careful, Sam. Be careful. <laughs> Just don't. Shake hands and. All right, you guys. Now let's break it up. They're at the Regal Beagle. I said that, then I clammed up instantly. Oh, God of Israel, please deliver us. <laughs> he becomes invisible just so he can throw his peanut shells on the ground. And Cupcake's doing her Ruth Buzzy. You old dirty old man. Thought I was Dale. Oh, well. Again, I thought I was Dale. 
that's the way to do it, Sam. As long as nobody tips over the tiny hot dogs and cocktail sauce. Ah, uh, bravo, bravissimo. What the heck happened there? Hey, don't hit Marjo Gortner. The Tripolitan. Oh, wait. That was... <laughs> dynamite! This here fist oh. pack sheer dynamite! Oh. 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 Pete, you will forgive me. I defile your memory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> now wine and tapas for everyone. Oh, no. Sitting down here among the bottles. Drinking Rose's lime juice. I'll tell you something, old buddy. You are a one-man army. But you know, I believe the two of us together could lick the world. Yeah, Whoa. please don't. Hey, baby. Hey. Don't try. I guess I'm always going to be picking on I was the same people. They've been living all day. 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 They've Come on, Buffalo. Finish your song. <laughs> See, Crackers and Hicks can get along. Oh. Wait a minute. He's going to sing again? What was the entire point of the fight? Ah, <laughs> uh, Fox Deluxe room temperature. <laughs> Kelly Flynn on her way to another tryst. All this and no tape deck? Leave Robert Denby alone. Altitude 17,500. Airspeed 1,250 knots. Over. Of course, that's dog knots. <laughs> Roger, XJ240. Maintain your present heading of 310 degrees. Settle transmit radio signal at 2,500 megacycles. Check out my Easy Bake Oven. Is that how you fuse the dew dream I planted in the radio? Uh, my theory is correct, yes. XJ240 to ground control. Ooh. Your speed now 1,500 knots. Which is 10 knots above the speed XJ limit. 240, climb right. to 32,000. Cross your fingers, here we go. Now he's so degrees. literal. Increase your air speed to 1,900 knots. Over. I knew I had too many dials. Stop harassing Denby. <laughs> Honey, quiet. Bailing out, bailing out. This is bogus, over. I'm running a film now of a previous pilot ejection. I love my new Lazy Boy fun chair! My sack lunch! <laughs> Still got my fingers crossed, see? You're so elusive! What went wrong? Nothing went wrong. It was sabotage. That means Bob Denby. Is that a Marantz turntable? Oh, he used that stolen deuterium. There wasn't a gram of deuterium in that jet. Leonard, your paranoia about this guy is, can confuse the whole investigation. Might make us miss the real cause of mechanical failure, turbulence, any number of things. It was sabotage, I tell you. I got a gut feeling. My corset is too tight. Was in. What for? Because I got to confront him face to face. No! <laughs> Slum powerhouse, huh? Shut, Shut up. up. Really, is it just a stock charger, is it? says crumb cake. Well, yeah, but it's a modified cupcake. Modified, about $40,000 worth. And then when we raced that exhibition in Berlin last week, a couple of square head mechanics come in and really souped it up. Poured soup all over mechanics. it. I didn't see them. Uh, then we took it off to some garage for about five days there in Berlin. Was that East or West Berlin? Darn fine, no. Um, South Berlin? Bill? Come here, Yes, sir. I want you to jump up and down and say, ooh. You need a qualifying speed of at least 150, 355 miles an hour to win the pole. Of course, you just get me in the first four rows and I'll be satisfied. Yes, sir. I've got some tablets in that trail I want you to take. Yep. On account of the dehydration and everything, will you? Hey, can I chicken fry them, sir? Denby. Never, never mind about that. We don't have time. I'm sure the judges want to get you on the track right away. Go ahead, get with it. Yes, sir. Let's get out of the heat. We just got into the heat. Wish me luck, Sam. Hey, hey, you know it, old buddy. Oh. You come, I need the jaws of life to get him into the car. <laughs> Here's your throw-up helmet. She's part rodent. Um, blue. Well, come on. We gotta watch him do his stuff. And crash. <laughs> you know, I'm really being very kind to you, Leonard. You're harassing me. 
Now Can I, I get paid? Phone, tell Judge Witherspoon, and you're in the pokey for contempt of court. Harassing you, Bob, ridiculous. So I pinched your butt once. Well, as Judge Witherspoon knows, I'm only here to wish you luck in the race tomorrow. You tell him that? Under oath, it's perjury. Really? Imagine that. You'd have a little trouble with your ethics there, wouldn't you, Leonard? None, turkey. Good. Well, sit on it, you nerd. You keep your nicknames <laughs> for your punks and your muggers, Driscoll. That's Driscoll now, huh? What, are you losing your cool, Denby? I'm a flightless bird, and I know it. Get out of here, Sherlock. You must swing on the phone and use it right now. Uh, no need, no need. Just leaving. That's quarter to three now. Don't! Oh, did it again. Ooh, speaks out there. You know, I'm gonna get you, Denby. You Drake, you roughed grouse. You're right. Moriarty, Sherlock. He always got his man, and so will I. You called me a turkey, you really socked it to me. At worst, I'm a pullet. Gobble, gobble. Yeah. Okay. Did you do it? Did you kiss him? No, Driscoll dropped by unexpectedly. Who's Driscoll? Well, he's a cop that's been hounding me for years. I wasn't about to try and pull it off with him here. Well, now that I'm alone, I All can. Right, then, we're gonna have to do it tomorrow during the race itself. Goodbye then, I guess. Uh, seven. Yeah. Uh, three. Uh, yeah. Seven. No. no, no, four. Da da da! It is I, Turkey Volume Guessing Man! Uh, let me explain. All this talk of turkeys in today's movie One, led me to friends. realize the true nature of my superpower. And hence am I now revealed as Turkey Volume Guessing Man! So you can guess the volume of any turkey? No! Uh, you're able to deliver a whole lot of guesses about turkeys, thereby achieving certain economies. No! Uh, you help turkeys out by guessing the volume of their pens? No! Ah, you guess how high the volume on a stereo would have to be before it annoyed the average turkey. No! Would you just tell us what you're doing, please? Would you agree that for any given space, it would require a certain amount of turkeys to fill it up? In other words, that the volume of any space might be expressed in terms of turkeys. Yes. Well, behold, that is my power. I can guess the number of turkeys it would take to fill up any given space. For I am turkey volume guessing man. Sam, this is useful Sadly, because... Sadly, it is not useful at all. And so my powers isolate me, and I am a puzzle to the ordinary run of man. Although women are drawn to me, for my powers are fascinating. And yet there is no woman who can hold me, for always am I confronted with spaces of various sizes, and I must guess the number of turkeys it would take to fill them, for I am turkey volume guessing man! Yeah, and uh, nobody else can do this? Well, try it. Well... Okay, I mean, like, okay, this this space here, I mean, yeah. from window to window, the door. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, 11,550 turkeys. Well, that's right. Mike, really? You, you would do this, Mike. You know, I tell you I'm turkey volume guessing, man, and you just saunter up and guess how many turkeys it takes to fill the space. Oh, boy. Well, bite me, okay, Mike? I was just a lucky guess, <laughs> Something crow. special about Crow? Well, here's Mike to spit up all over it. Well, I'm, I'm just sick of it, Mike. I can't even switch to chicken volume guessing because it just doesn't work. I, I hate you, Mike. Uh, come on. I hate you. I don't want to talk to you again. Come on. Crow, I didn't mean Hey, uh, Hey, come on. Let's get some lunch, huh? Come on. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Yeah, hey, uh, I got some turkey. Oh, great. I... Hey. <laughs> well, thanks for breaking me out of my funk, Mike. Yeah, sure. I've learned a valuable lesson that I shouldn't take turkey volume guessing too seriously. No, sir. We'll be right back. In fact, just because you can guess turkey volume doesn't mean I can't go ahead and guess turkey volume, too. Yeah, sure it doesn't. Hey, so In we'll be fact, right back. we can be partners. We are Turkey Volume Guessing Man! Uh -huh. oh. Sure we are. We'll be right back. Sad little man. East Berlin? I mean, you mean to tell me this Casey was pumping buffalo about what happened in Europe? Pumping buffalo? Well, why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I thought he was just some dumb friend of buffaloes. Bear claw, no. I don't know, then I had second thoughts. All right, maybe this case he needs going over in a dark alley. You know where he is right now? Sure. He's meeting Buffalo and me here at the pit stop. Do you have a pen I can borrow? Right. Lick the phone. Goodbye. Hey, 
Hey, lazy rider, how you doing? Evening, baby. Good deal. Hi, banana fold over. <laughs> can, I, uh, can I have Bill alone for a couple of minutes? Hey, old buddy, this is my one and only. I'm going to be marrying this little cupcake. That's right, right after he wins that race tomorrow on the special. Go have sex, though. <laughs> you're not going to be racing the special tomorrow, Bill. I can't let you do it. What do you mean you're not going to let me? Tell him you're sick or something, but I want you to turn it over to me. But he ain't sick. You know, talk like that's likely to make him sick. I don't like what I'm hearing. I mean, what you talking about? That car is going to pile up tomorrow. I don't want you in it. Now, that's, that's all I can tell you right now, right? Yeah, hey, I'm a racing driving man. I can handle that hot rod. Someone is out to wreck that car. He's making it up, sweet pea. He just wants all the glory for himself. Oh, come on, Tina, please. Well, that's the way it's sounding to me, old buddy. That's right. Yeah. Ain't that sweet? You get him a job and he tries to take yours. I just can't believe you'd ever do a thing like this. Bill, come on, Bill. Listen. No, 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 no. I thought you was my friend. Now I can see you just out for yourself the whole time. You dumb jerk. Don't you understand? Someone is trying right on to kill that. you. No, all I'm trying to do is stop it. Don't you call him no jerk. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Listen to me, Bill, please. You are so stupid, you stupid person. Et tu, Billy Bob. Let's get out of here, hon. The schism was deep. Waffle houses throughout the South were divided against themselves. That put me right off my potato skins and tepid back bacon. Guy was never on there. Hey, Billy Bob, Betty Bob, bub 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 I can't believe they don't have wine coolers here. Gosh. Why am I so full-hipped for a guy? Well, we're home. You want to sleep in the front or the back? I'd like you to consider Scientology. Your series is canceled, Murphy. Okay, call the Smokies. On what, the radiator? We will on the boo boo hoo! Super cracker! And he completely misses the action. Sleeve ripping bandits. We need to get my shirt to a hospital. You forgot to crack a window! They didn't charge us for the hush puppies. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lacerated kidney. So as much as freshmen's I ever kissed. We look like we've been stomped on and hung up with it. <laughs> Dick's a flag and catfish. Yeah, no, they're so skittered. <laughs> oh, oh, spinach that? jammed up here. A couple of mean dudes trying to do us in, I guess. Yeah, I figured that out. But, uh, but, uh, but why? Well, permit me to explain why. Yo, Bill. Let's move in together. Something I should have told you a long time ago, man. I have to go to the bathroom. I work for the government. You what? That's why I drive a black helicopter. I'm an agent with Intersect. Hey, that ain't nothing like uh, revenue. I mean, I can't abide revenue, Sam. <laughs> no, I'm not a revenuer. I'm just a plain old everyday federal agent. Woo-wee, my old buddy <laughs> Lazy Rider is a secret agent. All right, hey. I pooped my drawers. I'm so excited. Uh, Jumped, you must have been spies, huh? Well, yeah, you might call them that, yeah. Do you, uh, I kind of figured they were. I love you, Buffalo. You really want to drive that car tomorrow, don't you? Yeah, I really do. I guess I didn't realize how much it meant to you. But you can't. So why don't you go ahead and take it? You really mean that? <laughs> Duke's a hazard got right, renewed. Right, hey, calm down. Okay, now, the only thing is, you've got to finish in the money. Because we want to demand an official raceway inspection. That's the only way we can get it. <laughs> oh, it's inappropriate. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Buffalo is going to be leading the herd. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why are they leaning over the urinals? Well, this is a prototype of the Baxter radio that was used at the XJ2. You can only use it if you leave Robert Denby alone. And this is a gram of deuterium that was shipped to me from the bank at NATO. I had to have my passbook ready. Now, let us assume that monkeys can talk. That the plastic housing of the radio was somehow laced with deuterium. We believe we've discovered how the fusing of the deuterium was triggered. This is all very interesting, but are my photos ready? Put this on. Don't mind the dishes. I kind of live out of my lab. Wait, are you going to test your theory right now? Until we do, all it is is theory. Yeah, I know, but I've got a lunch thing, and I just... hope you don't blow up the building. 
Something with a kilo of deuterium, maybe, but not with a gram. Well, what could possibly now, go this wrong? Is a transmitter. The clue Leonard was in the ultra high cycle signal that we monitored during the test flight. We determined that it was of 2,500 megacycles. I will now transmit a precise signal. I'm going to call him a turkey. Well, this could help me look like Hal Linden anyway. <laughs> Are we not men? Uh, by the way, ignore the M80 I put behind the thing. You've got mail. Ah! <laughs> I have become death destroyer of portable radios. Couldn't see a thing because of these glasses. What happened? <laughs> I put deuterium in a frog too. It was Could great. Blow yes. up the XJ240 this way. If he could somehow get a grand of deuterium into the radio, he could. Thanks, Elliot. Your demonstration is going to help convict him. Now it's time for me to get to the track. I'm running in the 440. Believe me, I've waited five years for this day. Day at the track. I'm going to be in on the kill. Come on, make a burning tire fly into us. <laughs> All set, old buddy? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, just give me a couple of minutes, Bill. Why don't you go ahead, I'll catch How's up. How's the okie fokey oh, okay. lokey smoky dokey? Joking. <laughs> yes, I'm quite a gal. Okay, I'm going to eat the last brownie. <laughs> okay, it's 3.15 now. Oh, gosh! <laughs> Send me the bull Gravano and Ted Knight. Come on, let's go. He's clumsy Sam. when he's invisible. <laughs> Sam! Get the car. 96. Ooh, you keep breaking my heart. I'd like to buy some tires. Hello? Get out of here, you dumb car. Don't come back. And crash. LD to Mobile HQ. I'm locked out of my van. I'm uncovering the Baxter pit in position. Affirmative. Good. All other units stand by. The race is about to start. This is South Carolina's national movie. Looking waxy, that's good. When? No, it's Bob, actually. First pit stop. Gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> And now the news. Again, now the news. If a driver is killed, Section 31B gets a free Hormel hot dog. Hey, move over, buddy. Come on. Let me have the controls. Shouldn't have taken that knife wheel before the race. Is he sitting on him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the driver needs a blanket and another pillow. I've been drugged. <laughs> Don't die, Stafford. You've got too many novelty songs to write. Go get them, Sam. Give it the old college try. Is she in heaven, Mike? Oh. I, don't, I don't get it. Cup cake, get 2020. Twinkie the Kid and Fruit Pie the Magician. Who's behind the wheel? That's Casey. Casey, I didn't see him get in, did you? He's as elusive as I am. I have an owie. Casey's at the wheel and everything's under control. Stand by to tow the car to the raceway garage as soon as Casey finishes. Roger. Can I have some privacy here? <laughs> Can I have money for a hot dog? Be here to shut up. Cupcake? It's all right, honey. Cupcake's here. Where's Sam? He's driving the special. Space shuttle? He's stealing your glory, just like I said he would. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he, he mm -hmm. has to finish so the raceway can inspect the car and get the spaz. But I'm not a spaz. <laughs> Profiteral has a black heart. What spaz, honey? Can you keep a secret? You know I can, love it. You got Sam all wrong. He's one of the good guys. Well, what kind of good guy? Well, they sell stereos. He's, he's a good guy, Jay. He works with an outfit called the uh, uh, Inter Intercept. As soon as I get off the can, I'm going to do something about this. Well, obviously, Driscoll's got somebody standing by to lodge a protest. 
How do we stop him? Well, we can't. I'd say that car's gonna be in the raceway garage about six o'clock, surrounded by intersect agents, tearing it apart. So our plan goes down the drain. But it is a perfect Out. setup for me to get rid of Driscoll, get him off my back and for good. What's perfect about it? Well, I have the radio receiver built in the frame. Six o'clock. Oh, on the Garage, sky high. Goodbye, Leonard Driscoll. Goodbye, Sister Driscoll. She's my girl, Bill. Yeah. Go back. Go back. What is you... It's a Baxter special. Car 96 finishing third. It made a great comeback, folks, after spinning out. Now what are we supposed to do? Hang around and take the flak all by lonesome? <laughs> now that's it's dang. Me, Hiller. It's you. I wasn't in Berlin. I was in bioclass. The day is yours, Cupcake, but we shall meet again. I will rule the world. Emperor Cupcake. I have a glass of pork gravy. Cupcake. So you made a fool out of old Buffalo. Hey, now don't you get no wrong ideas about your little old Cupcake. Honest, I can explain it. I can explain it. No, I can explain it. You're an idiot and I fooled you. Into the Cupcake Mobile. Uh, can you give me directions? Yeah, go around that turn and uh-huh. go around that turn one more time. Yep. Go around that turn there. Thank you. You know, full service gas stations were great, weren't they? Oh, hey, Buffalo, but Sam, Sam, Spider's gonna blow up the raceway. You gotta stop him, Sam. You gotta stop him. about. All right, take it nice and slow, nice and easy. What? Six o'clock, didn't be said. Watch it, six o'clock. They're gonna blow the car to bits. What? They must have found out we were taking it in for an inspection. Ah. What else did they say? How are they gonna blow it up? They didn't, I don't, that's all I know. Yeah. You lame old. A radio transmitter built into this car and they'll transmit the signal. We gotta get this thing out of here. In five minutes. Four. A lot of people could get killed. Come on. It'll be cool. We'll get it where? I know a place. Come on, Lazy Rider. Just kick them coon hounds off the seat there. I'm joining you. And I need back team. Stand by to locate the source of a 2500 megacycle signal. Hardy's has a chicken fried biscuit special. The devil. <laughs> they should drive into the highest concentration of car race fans they can find. That would muffle the explosion. <laughs> uh, Charlie's Angels are coming up the other way. Became a demon for a moment. <laughs> I made love in this, and that's all right with me. Love, the elusive Robert Denby. Stupid crash, hungry crackers coming through. Got to stop at my cousin's on the way. Is that okay? New England journalists? Well, I know what you mean about New England journalists, but I feel that journalists from many regions have their own distinctive style. Take, for example, the liberal leanings of your Ellen Goodman. Well, hang on a sec. (laughs) Now, let's see. The little hand is closer to the bar thing on top, and the big hand is... No, I, I see your point, but don't you believe that journalists are becoming more similar as the regions themselves become less distinct? The car with sensitive explosives in it. Yep. Now my teacher said something about the big hand. What is it? I don't remember. Well, I suppose might as well blow it up. Incoming signal west and by four degrees. We have a fix. He's gaining weight by the second. I'd like to get to the Wii Fest eight months early. Okay, let's define New England first. Would you include Connecticut? We only have 2,412 seconds to get out of here. Hurry, the time is increasing. The defiant loads. There's your buffalo shot. That'll put some suki in your dookie. I gotta go back. My chapstick is in there. Hey, look, a couple of vads! 
the war between AAA Acme Electric and AA Anderson Electric. Hey, you need a jump by chance? Oh shoot, I was caught on the seat there. <laughs> All right, Moriarty, Sherlock. Off to the slammer and join Dr. Hale. Turkey! Oh boy. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome, dork. For saving my life. Would it be that hard to kiss him? For saving my life. Groove drop. When you consider the trouble that follows me around. You think you could get a little more I spittle on your fishy lips? Heaven than here on oh, the ground. Listening to him is like flossing with a razor blade. That's it, Sam. Give it. It probably wasn't worth it. It definitely wasn't worth it. But thank you, Sam. And Biasteris holds out on the 18th. <laughs> you want a table dance, Lazy Rider? Yes, man. That was good. It was great. You really liked it, Lazy Rider? Uh, no. Uh, I really liked it. <laughs> All right. Sure beats your fighting. And you're talking, and you're whooping, and the way you chew, and your breath. Coming up next, Banachek. Uh, no, I mean, thank you for enjoying our theater release movie today. Fred Evelyn Champagne Wall. <laughs> An executive story consultant? Yes, I advise you to hire the most annoying cracker you can find and slam together two incomprehensible stories. <laughs> Stephen D'Souza edited the story. Associate producer Richard Bag of Hammers Milton. Next up, Karen Valentine guest stars on Heck Ramsey. I, I, I mean, when you get home from the theater tonight after this fine movie. <laughs> you know, for some reason, this movie was a hit with elderly black women and Hispanic lesbians. Wow, really? that's interesting. Uh, Technicolor wishes to apologize for his use in this film. Music editor Betty Bieri and Fred Pryor. Women's Costumes by George H. Whitaker. Not well D.H.G. Wells, Hud Gomer Wells. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. All characters pew. depicted are really stupid and disgusting. Any similarity to actual persons would be really sad. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Produced in association with the Kingdom of pew, Darkness. Pew, pew. Remember, when riding with death, buckle up. Well, Buffalo, looks like we won that race. Yup. I'm on the air. Driscoll? Uh, good job. The elusive Robert Denby is finished. Yeah. <clears throat> Go get him, Sam. Give it the old college try. Huh. Ah, oh, God. You know, that didn't help at all. Nope, still no idea just what the Hector Elizondo that was supposed to be. Yeah, I feel as empty as I did watching it in the theater. Me too. Still, we have a nice cardboard cutout of Abby, though. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Abby! What? Oh, what? Air support. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Destroyer of Worlds. Just wanted you to be in on this little medal ceremony so you could properly revere me and stuff. <laughs> BB, give me some solemn music. Right on, Lawgiver! Sure, as the sun will cross the sky, the lie is all... Okay, can it, Tick Farm? Okay. Make with the empty praise, Wayface. Right. For courage and honor in the face of meritorious service, this medal of meritorious valiancy... Thank you. Keep them coming. For honor and courage in the face of meritorious valiancy, this medal of honorious merit. <laughs> and finally... Oh, my... <clears throat> For courage and valiancy in the face of valiant courage, meritoriousness, this medal of meritorious Oh, thank you. You like me. You really like me. Friend guy, take the wheel. I, I can't. I'm a pacifist.
Wow! Wow! 